Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Visit Malta channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about type of letters that has been involved in Malta work permit and Malta work visa. So many of them is getting confused. Uh, what type of letters that is required? I mean, what is cover letter, invite letter, principal in approval letter. So there is many letter involved in Malta work permit and also in Malta work visa and also if you uh, after you reach in Malta you need a residence permit there is acknowledgement letter also involved in that uh, process so in this video I'm going to cover what are all the letters that we have uh, we have to understand uh, when it comes Malta work permit and Malta work visa and you can see uh, the type of sample letters that I have I have already showed here in this uh, video <clears throat> okay and in detail I'm going to explain what are all the letters that has been involved all right so these are all the letters that i uh, that we known as on today uh, june 2022 in future it may be changed or it will it may, the process get uh, fine tuned so that time uh, many of the letters will be uh, eliminated so you have to be keep updated uh, keep keep uh, knowledgeable based uh, based on the identity malta requirement uh, for the work visas and working permit okay so again, as on 2022 June, uh, these are all the letters that has been involved uh, when it comes working permit and work visa and residence uh, permit. Okay. So approval in principal letter. Uh, let me explain. Uh, approval in principal letter and working permit letter and job plus letter and job invitation letter, invite letter and contract letter, documents and termination letter and cover letter, job description, salary information, working responsibility and refusal of single working permit letter, residence permit, acknowledgement letter and NOC letter and uh, CVU letter. Okay, so all this letter is so far involved in the working permit and the work visa and the residence permit and even the visa refusal and uh, <clears throat> during the work visa process with VFS. Okay. So I'm going to explain uh, in detail uh, in which stage uh, the, the, this letters was involved and what is this letter and who is going to provide this letter and uh, and who needs to prepare this letter. OK, so watch the complete video so that you will understand uh, what all this uh, letter and how and when it required. OK, before that, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, share this video because many people is getting confused what type of letter they require. So please share this video and like the video and you can come in if you have any clarification regarding this videos. OK, and also just to just to uh, give you additional information, we have a WhatsApp group which uh, which many of the Malta job seekers and professionals already in the group, which you can discuss about your visa process and working permit and uh, job research uh, in Malta. Just scan the code and uh, join the WhatsApp group. Uh, all right and discuss about jobs in malta working permit work visa and vfs global checklist and even you can verify your agency or you can uh, just visit our website and you can also contact visit to malta gmail.com for general consultation by sending an email okay <clears throat> let's go to the video now approval in principal letter uh, I'm, I'm going to explain in uh, very important letters by showing the sample the rest of all the letters I'm going to just uh, explain it to you okay so watch the full video so that you will understand what all the letters was involved in the working permit now approval in principle letter is the very important letter and this is the starting uh, point of your working permit and it is the letter being provided by identity malta by confirming you are allowed to work here in malta okay and this letter also known as uh, approval in principle letter and principle letter and working permit letter and uh, many people called uh, all these names for this approval in principle letter okay and this letter was in uh, this letter was given by identity malta and this has been applied by your employer and uh, em employer with the information that has been provided by your your employer and also you so if you wanted to watch the full video about how to approve uh, uh, apply approval and principal letter which is working permit letter please watch the other video that i have already explained in very detail uh, who who can apply uh, the working permit and what are all the information that has been involved and what information you have to give to your employer okay so that's a huge process that uh, that you need to understand when uh, when your employer applying for a working permit and get the approval in principal letter all right now 
job invite letter this is the letter also uh, has been provided by your employer which contain your job title and mentioning that your employer is inviting you to work in their company for the respective role and, and responsibility so this is also a mandatory uh, letter that is required when you submit your work visa so this letter will be provided by your employer so we have required this letter to confirm uh, confirm that you got the invite letter from your employer and again this is not the contract letter this is completely completely a different job invite letter that is required by the employee when they submit to the VFS work visa I mean work visa through the VFS for Malta okay and the next one is the contract letter and document contract letter and document is the confirmation of your job contract with your employer which contain your contract period and salary and designation and roles and responsibility and terms and condition and uh, and this is also a very important uh, document that you have to read very carefully word by word before you sign the contract because many of them are asking uh, when can I change a job what what will happen if I change a job so I have created another video Video, uh, which explain the change of job procedures you can watch that video how you can change the job and what role the procedure that has been involved when you change a job and what is required to change the job so many of them are thinking that you can just come here in Malta and within one month you can just change a job uh, easily but that is not possible trust me it is impossible uh, to change a job immediately there are some procedure that is involved uh, involved when you change the job which which <coughs> which uh, which is uh, which is included uh, your current employer and new employer agreement so it is not easy to just jump off your uh, current employer to the new employer so both the employer has to agree and uh, pro proceed the documentation work with the jobs plus which I have already explained in other video change of jobs you can watch that and uh, just to give you a quick tip you have to watch this contract I mean read this contract word by word that is because when you do the change of job and by breaking your one year contract you might have to uh, uh, face some consequences with the current employer so that is what I ask you to read the contract letter document very carefully all right so this is also one of the letter and document sometimes people used to call letter and sometimes people used to call contract document okay so this is also one of the important document and letter that you're required when you uh, come for a work <coughs> okay and uh, I have explained all the I mean important three letters now let's go one by one what are all the letter other letters and where it is involved okay now um, approval in principal letter and working permit letter and jobs plus letter all these three letter is same it is actually uh, same that is being provided by identity malta and uh, by applying uh, by your employer behalf of you so you can watch other video which i have already explained uh, the working permit uh, applying procedure which involved your employer information and also your information uh, okay so you can watch that video to gain the complete detail about how to apply a working permit all right so approval and principal letter and working permit letter and jobs plus letter all three letter is same okay now job invitation letter is I already explained it has been provided by your employer and uh, job invitation letter and invite letter both are same okay so people used to call uh, the different name and getting confused so again job invitation letter and inmate letter is same which is provided by your employer okay and contract letter and document I explained a few minutes back that's a contract with your employer which you uh, which is an important document uh, so you have to read very carefully word by word before you sign the contract okay and termination letter yeah this is very important letter uh, when I say um, uh, when I explained the uh, change of job the termination letter is involved so termination letter is nothing but your current employer agree to relieve you and uh, send uh, a notification to jobs plus and you have they will receive the termination letter from jobs plus okay so that is where the termination letter involved for the detailed procedure please watch the change of how to change the job in Malta uh, video that I have already created in my channel then you will understand what is the termination letter was involved okay and uh, cover letter cover letter also is uh, many of them is getting confused with the cover letter and invite letter okay so invite letters is completely different okay the cover letters is also uh, required by uh, by uh, by uh, employee okay which needs to be submitted to the VFS uh, global service when they apply for a work visa so 
cover letter is nothing but uh, which contain uh, your job description salary information working responsibility uh, so all those information and why uh, why the job is required uh, in malta so all those information mentioned by your employer and uh, provided to you along with the invite letter okay so invite letter and cover letter both the letter has to provided by your employer when you submit to the vfs work visa okay so that is something called cover letter and sometime if your application required some additional information for example if your uh, if your uh, if you have any typo in your uh, in your any of the document you can also create one more cover letter by mentioning uh, you you have a typo in the letter and uh, amendment was uh, attached something like that i'm just giving you an example so you can also create one more cover letter along with the cover letter by employer and invite letter by employer so there will be three letters uh, two letters from your employer and one letter from you okay so the the additional cover letter from you it is not compulsory if if there is any changes in your document that you wanted to explain it to the visa officer you can write the cover letter or generally you can just create some cover letter saying that you are applying for a i mean you 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 got the job with the so and so employer and you are interested to relocate and please consider my application to proceed the work visa okay so you can give a generic cover letter also attaching into the application form when you submit to the vfs global services at the time of appointment date so nothing wrong in that adding one more cover letter all right and uh, the next one is refusal refusal of single working permit this is also another letter that uh, employee received when when uh, the application got rejected by malta high commission in new delhi okay new delhi uh, means it's in india but international uh, uh, level each and every uh, vfs global service and malta embassy has a different location okay so uh, if your visa got rejected uh, you will receive a refusal of single working permit letter okay so that is a, uh, another letter another letter that you need to understand if your visa got rejected that's something called refusal letter okay and uh, once all the uh, once everything is thrown out on you are you are uh, traveling to malta and uh, you applied for a residence card okay they will be provide a acknowledgement letter and acknowledgement copy and confirmation copy and uh, and residence letter so that is also uh, another letter that you required it's a temporary letter that will uh, provided by you when you apply for a residence card so that letter is valid for 3 months i think and uh, during the 3 months you are not allowed to uh, go out uh, from malta i mean you are allowed to go out from malta but uh, you cannot come back with the uh, letter so you have to wait until your residence card uh, received then you you are free to travel to uh, uh, anywhere in the <coughs> country and you 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 are free to come back again okay so this is the acknowledgement copy that you applied for your residence card so and residence acknowledgement letter so people used to say acknowledgement letter and uh, blue paper and blue copy and green copy letter and residence letter so these are all the name that is been uh, provided for this letter people used to say okay and uh, NOC letter. NOC letter is a very important letter. I think uh, it is involved in the in the Arab region, uh, United Arab Emirates. Uh, when when people are applying from United Arab Emirates, uh, there is a checklist which required the NOC letter, uh, which is no objection uh, certificate letter that you have to uh, get it from your uh, current employer, saying that uh, they are they are ready to relieve you and uh, to apply for a new job. So this letter is very compulsory. Uh, a uh, checklist uh, when you apply for a work visa through the VFS global service so so this is a NOC letter that has to be uh, provided by your current employer in uh, UAE okay so without this letter it is impossible to apply for a working permit as on today june 2022 okay so in future maybe they'll change of uh, change your uh, change the requirement so i'm not sure if i if there is any changes i'll keep you posted so please don't, have, don't don't forget to subscribe my channel so that uh, my information will be reach out to you all right so the next one is cvu letter central visa unit letter so this is little uh, complicated one that we are uh, not sure uh, exactly so far we understood that central visa unit letter is required for the people um, who is working in uae uh, as a non uae citizen so for example in united arab emirates uh, uh, if a person is working uh, 
from other country in UAE and applying a visa uh, to Malta uh, in from the UAE without uh, without uh, applying the visa from their original country so since so that situation the central visa uh, unit letter is required uh, for that uh, person to apply the visa through the different country that they are located temporarily okay so this letter you have to apply to the central visa unit located in malta and uh, uh, got uh, get this letter before you submit to the vfs global services and this central visa unit uh, cvu letter will be applied by your employer okay as as of now i understood uh, it has been applied by your employer behalf of you here in malta and they will uh, collect the letter for you and send the send the letter to your uh, um, UAE address or a sc scan to copy through email which is enable for you to apply a work visa through Malta so these are all the letters so far involved in the working permit and uh, you know, work visa and the residence permit uh, procedures okay hope you understand this um, the the, uh, the letters involved in the Malta work and apart from this letter there may be any other uh, letters also involved which people used to uh, call sometimes submission letter so as of now officially this is the known letter uh, type of letters that is required apart from if any other letter you are feel free to share the, your experience uh, in the comments or or you can also send a, send us an email uh, to at, uh, at visit to malta gmail.com which will be helpful for, uh, for us to mention it in the next video and share it to many people all right and uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, you can also join the whatsapp group and share your knowledge and gain your knowledge uh, by talking to other malta professionals and job seekers and who already settled there uh, in malta uh, recently also there in the group you can discuss with the procedures and everything in the free of cost uh, okay and uh, that's all thanks thanks again for watching the video good luck